Mm. Marion. Langley, my darling, mm. you could absolutely save my life. Phoebe just called me and told me the pipes have burst at Willow Lake and she wants me to go fix them. Well, darling, I'm absolutely hopeless about that sort of thing. So I thought you would be my knight in shining armor and come up there with me. Actually, I'm afraid to go up in the dark. And of course she knew that you would come here to me. No, darling, we didn't even mention you. I mean, we would have if you weren't still estranged. Oh, but we are. No, I'm afraid Phoebe will have to pick up the phone and call the plumber or the handyman. She's not getting any more favors from me tonight. Oh, well, I guess you sound really adamant. And, uh, this is quite fascinating, Langley. Mm. Are you expecting Laura? <laughs> <laughs> it just happens that uh, marshmallows are my weakness, if you don't mind. That's what I adore about you, Langley. So many contradictions. A scholar with a sense of whimsy. <laughs> <laughs> I would ask you to join me, but I don't think what I have to offer would uh, tempt you. Oh, now don't be too sure, darling. Actually, mm. the pipes were a bit of a ploy. You see, I do have the keys, and I do have to check out the cabin, but I would like some company on the moonlit drive up, mm. on the boat over to the island, and mm. then we could maybe have a nice, cozy picnic in front of the fire, and uh, I could uh, toast you with your marshmallows, darling. Marion, <laughs> you are a caution. Well, Langley, you know, darling, I've always been madly interested in you, but you have always been very married. And, uh, of course, to Phoebe, my most formidable friend. But darling, I don't think I would fit into your profile. I haven't got a penny to my name. Darling was talking about marriage. I'm talking about fun. Pure, unadulterated fun. Fun? Mm-hmm. Uh... <laughs>